In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the level 1 criteria, use multiplication facts and make connections with division facts, which you can locate on the masmas.com website under level 1. So we'll go through questions from different exam boards, starting with non-calculated questions and then moving on to the calculated questions. One thing you should bear in mind before we start working through these is that multiplication and division, they are opposites. So the inverse of multiplication is division and the inverse of division is multiplication. Same as addition and subtraction basically. They are opposites of each other. Knowing this is very, very important in so many areas in maths and you're going to need that in the future as well. But also in the exam, when you're asked to check your answer, please do use the opposite operation to check your answer or the inverse operation so if you've done addition to begin with then do subtraction to check your answer if you've done multiplication to begin with then do division to check your answer or if you've done division in your answer then check it using multiplication okay here is the first question 4.978 times the number gives us 4,978. What is the missing number? If you look at the digits, they haven't changed. So we've got 4,978 and 4,978 as well. So this tells us that the number has been multiplied by 10, 100 or 1000. Whether it's 10, 100 or 1000, what do we do? We count the number of places that the decimal has moved. In this case, we've got it after the 4, so it's 4.978. And in the answer, we haven't got a decimal point, which tells us that it must be at the end. So. It has moved how many places? One, two, three places. So that number must have three zeros. So that is 1000. To check whether you've done this correctly, start with the answer doing the opposite operation. So 4,978, that was the answer within that math sentence that you're given because it's after the equals. So now instead of doing multiplication, do division by a thousand. Does it give you 4.978? Let's have a look. So I'm going to rewrite this. 4,978. So you can imagine the decimal point being right at the end. We're moving to the three places. So 1, 2, 3 brings the decimal point after the 4, which is what we had in the question. So that tells us that we've done this correctly in the first place. And the answer is definitely 1000. If 28 times 63 is equal to 1764, what is 1764 divided by 63? Okay, so what have they done here? They've moved just like we've done in the previous example. 1764 divided by 63 should give us 28. Because as we said, multiplication and division, they are opposites of each other. So if I put here equals 28, for example, to check your answer, you do 28 times 63 
equals 1764, which matches what we have here. So 28 is definitely our answer. Use 6 times 8 equals 48 to calculate the answer to 480 divided by 80. Write the answer in the box below. OK, so we can see the same digits, 6, 8 and 48. So we can see 48 here and the 8. However, it's 480 divided by 80. Is that the same as 48 divided by 8? That is the division symbol, which when you look at, it is like the fraction as well, isn't it? So, 480 divided by 80 can be written this way as well. And if you've studied fractions and equivalent fractions specifically yet, you will know that this is the same as 48 divided by 8 because we've divided both numbers by 10 so that keeps the fraction the same so 48 divided by 8 that is 6 if you just reverse this 48 divided by 8 gives you 6 6 times 14 equals 84. Use this information to work out 840 divided by 140. So it's a similar question to the one that we've just done. So 840 divided by 140, that is the same as 84 divided by 14. So just going backwards here. So 84 divided by 14 gives us 6. Use 5 times 16 equals 80 to work out 50 times 0 0.16. OK, so if we compare 5 with 50, because they have the same digits, we've got 5 and 5 here, we've got 1, 6 and 1, 6. So what has changed? We've got from 5 to 50, so that means we've multiplied 5 by 10. We've gone from 16 to 0 0.16. So decimal point was originally here, it's moved one, two places to the left. So the number has got 100 times smaller. So divided by 100 or we could say divided by 10 divided by 10 so breaking down the 100 into 10 and 10 and the first step was multiplying it by 10 so times 10 divided by 10 they will cancel each other out so all that is left to the answer is 80 divided by 10 so the answer will only be divided by 10. 80 divided by 10, knocking off a zero, gives us 8. So the answer is 8. Now we're looking at some calculator questions. There is just one. 140 times a number equals 8,400. So we're going to do opposite 8400 divided so it was multiplication now we're doing division by 140 which gives us 60 and that's the answer this is the end of the questions.